This video lesson is about finding GCF using listing method. So what is GCF? GCF stands for Greatest Common Factor. It is the largest number that can be divided both the given pair or set of numbers. What is listing method? Listing down all the possible factors of a given pair or set of numbers. So how to get GCF by listing method? We have three steps. First, list down all the possible factors of a given pair or set of numbers. Second, encircle all the common factors. And third, find the greatest common factor. Let's try. Find the GCF of 12 and 80. First, list down all the possible factors of a given pair or sets of numbers. So, get the factors, possible factors of 12. So, I list down all the possible factors of 12, which is 1 multiplied by 12, 2 multiplied by 6, 3 multiplied by 4. And I'm just rearrange it in order. So I'll come up with 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. Same as in 18, I'm going to list all down the possible factors of 18. So the factors are 1 multiplied by 18, 2 multiplied by 9, and 3 multiplied by 6. I'm just rearrange it in order. So I'll come up with 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, and 18. And we're going to go to step 2. Step 2 is encircle all the common factors. So the common factors are 1, 2, 3, and 6. So the common factors of a 12 and 18 are 1, 2, 3, and 6. And we're going to find the greatest common factor. That is the step 3 and last step. So the greatest common factor of 12 and 18 is number 6. So that the GCF of 12 and 18 is 6. Let's try another. Find the GCF of 15 and 21. First, list down all the possible factors of a given pair or set of numbers. So, I list all down the possible factors of 15, and these are 1, 15, 3, and 5. Rearrange it in order, 1, 3, 5, and 15. And all the possible factors of 21 are 1, 21, 3, and 7. Rearrange it again in order, 1, 3, 7, and 21. And step 2, encircle all the common factors. So the common factors of 15 and 21 are 1, 3, 4, 3, so that's all and find the greatest common factor so the greatest common factor is 3 so that the GCF of 15 and 21 is 3 it's your turn to find out the GCF 
so find the GCF of if 16 and 20 I'll give you the set of factors of 16 and 20 and let's try to find out the common factors and also the GCF so here are the possible factors of 16 and 20 can you guess what are the common factors in this set of numbers or pair of numbers okay one two and four so the greatest common factor of 16 and 20 is four because the largest number on that set is four let's try another find the GCF of 20 and 30 so I list down all the possible factors of 20 and 30 so let's find out what are the common factors in this set or pair of number I'll give you three seconds to find out what are the common factors and these are one two five and ten so the largest number in this set is ten so that the GCF of 16 and 20 is 10 very good next find the GCF of 35 56 and 49 so we have three so sets of numbers so I less than all the possible factors of the sets of numbers and these are 157 35 for 35 1 2 4 7 8 14 28 56 for 56 and 1 7 49 4 49 so can you guess what are the common factors in the set of numbers i'll give you three seconds to find out what are the common factors That's right, these are the 1 and 7. So the greatest common factor of 35, 56, and 49 is 7 because it is the largest number that are common in this set of numbers last find the GCF of 18 and 30 I'll give you uh, 20 seconds to find out what are the factors of 18 and 30 and just encircle the common factors and let's find out at the end of this lesson the GCF of 18 and 30 your 30 seconds starts now Ten seconds left. Five seconds. Time is up. So let's try to find out what are the factors of eighteen and twenty and thirty. And here's mine. Do we have the same factors? And I have my common factors and these are 1 2 3 
and 6. And the GCF of 18 and 30 is 6. Do we have the same answer? Congrats and thank you for this lesson.